the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, has ordained five new priests for the Archdiocese. The ordination, which was part of activities to mark the 40th anniversary of the Archdiocese and 40th priestly ordination of Archbishop Kaigama, was a moment to have more laborers added to the vineyard of God. CTV's Jerome Peter completes the report. <laughs> It was indeed another moment of joy for the Catholic faithfuls in Abuja Archdiocese, as five new deacons were raised to the order of the priesthood. The ordination ceremony, which was part of the 40th anniversary celebration of the Archdiocese, was officiated by the Archbishop, Most Reverend Ignatius Guy Kama, at the recently consecrated church of the St. Peter and Paul Parish in Yanya, Abuja. In the homily delivered by Father Tumba, after the liturgy of the word and the invitation of candidates to the altar, Father Tumba urged the ordinance to see the priesthood as a privilege given to them to serve in the place of Christ. This is a great day for the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, and we thank God for it. The journey these five young men began about a decade ago has finally come to an end. However, they must be conscious of the fact that in life, the end of one journey is the beginning of another. In this case, a more sublime journey has begun for them. You are therefore going to act in the person of Christ before the people of God. This is a great privilege you must take to your heart. The homilist, while emphasizing on the imperatives of Christian holiness, advised that a good priest must set aside everything that will distract him from following God. As priest, you will definitely lead God's people in different capacities. First, at liturgical celebrations, you must follow the guidelines provided by the church. Do not abandon what you were taught in the seminary. The liturgy is not the area you make innovations. The church has already determined how the liturgy must be celebrated. Leadership can be administrative as well. The priest must be available to the people to hear them, guide and direct them. Another duty of the priest to sanctify the people of God. Your hands will be anointed by the bishop to bless to the to bless the people and not to strike them. Your words and actions should heal rather than mislead or destroy God's children. Following closely after the homily witnessed the ordinance promise of obedience to the Archbishop and his successors and the litany of saints chanted by the choir. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Santa Maria Mater Dei The prayer of consecration on the ordinance to validate their priestly authority was carried out after the laying on of hands by the Archbishop and other priests present. Hear us, Lord our God, and pour out upon these servants of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the grace and power of the priesthood in your sight we offer these men for ordination. Support them with your unfailing love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The 
the newly ordained were then vested with stole and chasuble, anointed with the oil of chrism and presented with the chalice by the archbishop as a tool for their sacrifice and finally the keys of peace. <laughs> In Abuja, Peter Jerome, reporting for CTV News. <laughs>